played in iconic stadiums, but there is no doubt that the Azteca is the one I like the most. It's very special. The truth is that you sense, you smell, and you feel the history of the stadium from the moment you enter it. The changing rooms, the corridors, the whole structure. It's something fantastic. It's a monster that has supported us tremendously. The pitch is very fast. It's the best ground for Mexicans. For a footballer, I think it's beautiful to play at the Azteca. For me, on a personal level, it represents a lot, because Argentina became champions there. This was where Maradona lifted the World Cup. So when you enter the stadium, there are many photographs in the tunnel where Maradona once was. The Estadio Azteca, holding almost 100,000 spectators and location for some of football's greatest moments. 30 years ago this week, the iconic venue hosted the 1986 World Cup final between Argentina and West Germany. Jorge Burrachaga's late goal won the title for the South Americans. I have to say, for me, it was without doubt the highlight of my career. I touched the sky with my hands. I was the one that decided the final of a World Cup in an amazing game where we were winning and then the Germans levelled to make it 2-2. But then I was the one that scored the goal that all footballers dream of. I will remember that as the happiest goal of my entire career. The stadium had become the only arena to host the final twice. 16 years earlier, Brazil beat Italy 4-1 to win and keep the Jules Rimet trophy. Since opening in 1966, the Azteca has been the proud home of the Mexican national team. It's amazing. I think it's one of the best stadiums I've ever played in because of the number of people that can come and support the team and for the history that it has. I think being there makes you feel proud that you are doing things well because not everybody has the opportunity to play there. So we try to be strong when we play at the Azteca so people leave the stadium happy. We have a responsibility to make the fans happy and we want to do it well. I think everyone somehow feels intimidated by a stadium that has so much history and holds so many people. And it's very beautiful. The truth is that we Mexicans are very privileged to have this stadium. My favourite story is when we entered the pitch and lined up for the Mexican national anthem. The record didn't work. So we sang a cappella and the entire stadium joined in. It's a fantastic memory. When you play there, the stadium is very imposing because of its size. And sometimes it's very difficult to play there because we all know that Mexico has altitude, so it's hard for the players from abroad to adjust to that. When you play with the national team and you see it full, you feel the warmth. It's a great atmosphere. Every time I enter the stadium, I'm flooded by memories. It's just amazing that I'm able to come here and that God has given me the opportunity to have this as my home. In May, ahead of the FIFA Congress, a host of famous faces took part in a friendly match to celebrate the stadium's 50th birthday. What a half century it's been.